<laughs> you think you've been busy, huh? You're going here and there and the frontier and then heart. Siegel, George Siegel's got everything going. He's uh, just finished making an album called A Touch of Ragtime. And some Saturday night in October, he's going to uh, NBC. He's going to have present the George Siegel show. I don't know if there's a date set on it. That's in October. He also has a new movie out called California Split, in which he co-stars with Elliot Gould. It, well, where is the album? This is uh, nothing but a... This is just a piece of cardboard with a picture on it. We're plugging something that hasn't even been made yet? Is... Right. George is shrewd. I guess my spot's over now. Is what? That, is that what you're trying to say, my spot is over? Uh, well, really, I don't want to say over. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you still are a part of the show, and will continue to be during the rest of the night. <laughs> Your spot is over. <laughs> Here is... Here's George Siegel. Where's the, where's the record? That's all I, that's all I see here is a, uh... God, I, I showed that, I showed, I showed that. Where is the, uh... Look. I was gonna wear the shirt, um, that's on the album, because I thought it would be, uh, better associatively in people's minds if they saw me in the shirt that I wear on the album cover. I don't think it'll make any difference. <laughs> Where is the album, incidentally? George, this is well, a, I was uh, playing basketball yesterday in this shirt, you see, and uh, I, I brought it with me, but I thought it would be... Uh, a little gamey? A little gamey. Mm. Where is the album itself? The this record. is the album. I, no, this is the album cover. Where, where's this the record? This is the album. It's called A Touch of Ragtime. Yes, I know that. It won't be out for a couple of weeks yet. But what do we... But it takes sometimes longer. <laughs> it takes... I, I guess you didn't know this, but it takes longer... my spot went bad. What... <laughs> <laughs> but... but Put, put the album down, George. What? <laughs> George, put the album down. Sometimes it takes longer for the, uh, to make the record cover. I've heard that. Than it does the, uh, than, than does the, the record music. itself. Yes. I the record, we either. just went in there and we just had fun for a couple of days, you know. Mm -hmm. But, uh, then they have to make it official by making, uh, an album cover. And album covers are very, uh, very special and, uh, sure. a lot Well, you have to go, you have to pose. You know? Certainly. Wear the right shirt. You wear the right shirt, right. Mm -hmm. Now, you also have a television show, I understand, coming up. Do you know what it's called? <laughs> this, is, this is not let's make a deal, George. <laughs> See, I ask the questions, and okay. you, you as the guest uh, are supposed to give me some kind of, a, of an answer. Okay, but I, I, I like... No, I don't know what it's I called. I like to have a kind of an exchange. Well, you know, certainly. So it looks like... A... No, I don't know what it's called. What is it called? <laughs> the George Siegel Show. <laughs> and you know what it says under the George Siegel Show? No, I don't. It says starring George Siegel. Good, good choice there. <laughs> Who else is on the show? Do you a lot of wonderful people. A lot of wonderful, really uh, vibrant, uh, talented, exciting, talented, talented exciting. Uh, warm and loving people. Mm -hmm. What do you do on the show? I sing and I dance and I have fun. I sing with all the guests. And uh, I talk with them, and we say very um, amusing and uh, lighthearted, uh, bubbly things to one another. <laughs> and um, this is the first time you've done a variety show. Or? Yes, it is the first time I, I did a variety show. The reason that I, I got uh, that there was any interest at all in the uh, in the uh, uh, variety show at all mm -hmm. uh, was due to the fact that I hosted. Uh, I. <laughs> that you hosted here here on this show here one night mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it went so well uh, that they asked me to do another show uh, unlike it you know a whole other kind of thing um, which will go on at 11 30 uh, at night uh, sometime in October it's so good that they want to find exactly the right Saturday night when they Morning. figure everyone will be home uh, to watch the show <laughs> is, that, is, that a, is that a good time 11 30 well, I figure at 11.30, uh, you can fool around and uh, make uh, mistakes and uh, nobody cares, you know? <laughs> oh, 
Well, you know, I don't know what... Have you ever done... I think one of mine was booking you. Eleven thirty is a great time of night. People in a relaxed <coughs> mood at home. That's right. You get into prime time, and uh, the pressure's on. You know what I mean? Yeah. And here, uh, well, for example, <laughs> in prime time, you couldn't go. <laughs> for example. Why not? Sure, you wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to. <laughs> but at eleven thirty at night, who cares? <laughs> Is that the way you look at the 11.30 at night? It's just, you know... <laughs> I think mine had more resonance. <laughs> yeah, probably true. You gotta do it big if you're gonna do it, you know what I mean? Fair enough. Now, you also... Well, we can talk about the movie later, I guess, when... Elliot gets here. Yeah. You've done a lot of pictures the past year, haven't you? Yeah. I like to keep busy. Keeps me off the streets. How many pictures have you made the past year? 25. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. 25? In one year. Oh, come on. Now, it's a hell make... of a schedule. <laughs> now, you obviously didn't make 25 pictures. No, I made The Terminal Man. Right. I made California Split. That's it. But what, where are we? What month is this? I mean, we're in springtime. It's July. July. This is July, son of a gun. <laughs> this is an information show as well as everything else, huh? <laughs> kind of a clearinghouse. Sure, we get it all out of here. We do we, almost everything we here. We find out, can I have a drag on your cigarette? No, because you're going to sing, and it's bad. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? It isn't bad. I want to show people that uh, I can take a drag on a cigarette. No, I don't think that's... I once went up for a camel commercial, and uh, uh, there was this lady behind the uh, desk, and she said... Uh, Go ahead, light the cigarette. So, uh, I didn't get the commercial, so I'd like to uh, take an inhale on the cigarette. Why didn't you get it? You didn't do it right? I think I was, I must have been a little effeminate when I did it, but I wasn't... Well, you don't smoke, do you? What? You don't smoke, really. From time to time. I can see now why you didn't get it. Uh, <laughs> right away, you've got this kind of, uh... Watch this. Should have got it immediately. Don't you exhale? I did exhale. Oh, some I didn't. Time ago. I, I didn't see it. Didn't see it come up. Is this the end of that segment? Long ago was the end of the segment. We're going to continue. Look, you can come back and do a make good on the banjo. I certainly can. Right after this brief message. Okay. Of Well, we got a biggie working here tonight with Mr. Newhart and Mr. Siegel. We have yet Mr. Elliot Gould, Teresa Brewer, and Monty Rock. Now, what are you going to do tonight? Uh, you got I'm three bands. I'm going to do an incredible ukulele. thing. Ukuleles. These are ukuleles. ukuleles. This is the baritone. I'm going to do an incredible thing. I'm going to teach you two rank amateurs. Do you know how to do Have I ever met you before? No, no. Have no. I ever met you before? You don't have to go that far with it. I'll deny it if you want me to. Deny it. No. Have I ever taught you to play the ukulele no. before? No. <clears throat> have I ever taught you no. to play the ukulele? No, no, you haven't, sir. I just Hold I hate, that. I hate the ukulele. What? I hate the ukulele. I'm not asking for judgments. I hate the ukulele and the accordion. Fine, I just want action. Okay. I'm okay. like Lady of Spain on the accordion. <laughs> now you hold it like this. No, you hold it like this. Da, 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 da. Now I'm gonna, this is gonna be a song. Excuse me. <laughs> That's moving back here because you shouldn't have your ukulele on your desk, should you? No. Oh. No, you should have your ukulele in your lap. No. <laughs> You don't have an instruction manual coming out of your... I am the... <laughs> it's me. It's happening okay. now. Okay, now this is a song uh, that's... Uh, well, yeah, are you going to teach us how to do this? Well, I'm going to give you a preamble first. got to oh. set people up for this. It's just Excuse too much of a shock if you learn it instantly like I that, right? Oh, yeah. Besides, as I talk, I'm hypnotizing you. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is from the movie California Split. This is from a movie? 
It's also from my album, A Touch of Ragtime. Oh, we've seen it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do it once for you. Then I'm going to teach you how to do it. It goes, mm, Rufus Rast. I'm going to do it very fast. R but they got the words here for when it's your turn. Rufus Rast is Johnson Brown. What you going to do when the rent comes round? What you going to say? How you going to pay? And you never have a beer since the judgment day. Oh, you know, I know the rent means no. The land I'm going to throw is in the cold, cold snow. A Rufus Rast is Johnson Brown. What you going to do when the rent comes round? Now, the first chord... You're going to teach us how to do this? Uh, you're going to play that song, but we're going to do it slower, and the band's going to be in so they won't know. Okay. <laughs> so uh, uh, this is what is called the home chord. Take your index finger. Mm -hmm. May I see your index finger, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't tempt me, Siegel. No. Yes, all right. Right, right Good. first time. May I see that? yours? Please take that and put it right here. Put it right here. Now, that's your... T that's right. No, 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 up here, right here. What? That's where I go. I'm going right to stand here. up now. It's all show business. Okay. I think that was an E when you hit that one. Yes. Right here. No, where you want me? Your index finger right yeah. there. Yeah, okay. Okay, now put this finger yeah. there. That's called the home chord. Yeah. You play that. You play that. Take your index finger. <laughs> That's the home chord. No, no, no. no. There. Don't be nervous. Okay. Okay. Now play that. That's the home court. Okay. Ready? I got a cup of coffee. Right around the track. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Now. <laughs> Gonna get out of prison now. Oh. Get out of prison. Go take a train. Go take a train, huh? Mm. <laughs> okay, we're ready, George. That's the home court. I've got the home court. You got the home court? Okay. I wish I was home now today. <laughs> Together now. No Rufus Rastus Johnson Brown. Okay, that's it for the home court, right? Now leave your index finger where it is and make a perfect isosceles triangle, bringing your middle finger back. No, bring your middle finger back one. This is the toughest chord you're going to have to learn. Bring your middle finger back one right there. Now tuck that one underneath. You see a perfect triangle? Oh, yeah. You see you're making a perfect triangle? I got it. No, you don't. No, you don't. don't. A perfect triangle. But no, that's not a perfect there. There, now there's a perfect triangle. Well, it's, this is also a perfect triangle. No, but here. I want you to leave your index finger that's where That's a perfect it is, triangle. But it's no chord. You want this perfect triangle. My God, this is tough. <laughs> I, I got okay. it right away. Now, we start with the home chord, then go to the isosceles triangle. Then go to the triangle. isosceles triangle, because the chord after this is so easy, it's going to be fun. Are you going to yell out perfect isosceles and then right. a home well, chord? I'm just going to call it the triangle. I see. Okay, let's go back to the home chord home again. Home chord. Home chord again. Home chord. Oh, Rufus Rastus Johnson Brown. Now, the triangle. Triangle, what triangle, triangle. Hold it, hold it. Wait, Keep I get, your index Where did I get my triangle? I don't have my triangle. I can't go from home I to the triangle. I said to keep your index finger where it is. What are you doing? <laughs> loosen up. Loosen up. <laughs> home court. Home court. Home court. Oh, Rufus. Rest is Johnson Brown triangle. triangle. What you gonna do when the rent comes round? Now you're gonna love this. Home court. No, no. Oh. Now this is what I call the one you finger keep chord. On me, what? George, you keep picking on me. I'm gonna tell the people what you actually said when you hit your head. <laughs> all right. What's the I'm next sure chord? they all say it when they hit their head on a microphone too. <laughs> all right. What's the next chord? The next chord is what I call the one finger chord, which is way over here by itself. Yeah. Oh, that's that's it. That's easy. Right. What you gonna say? How you gonna pay? And now back to the home court. Right here, index finger right there. You know, my kid can do this. My kid is six years old. My kid can do this. Loosen up. Go and eat up, coffee. Mm. <laughs> Out of railroad shack. Okay, from the I top. I wanna pick up my okay. sweetie. Okay. We're never gonna come back. <laughs> Ready? Home court. Home court. Oh, Rufus Rastus Johnson Brown Triangle. Oh, what you gonna do when the rent comes round? One finger. What you gonna say? How you gonna pay? Two finger. You'll never get a bit of sense to judgment day. Two finger. Are you? No, I know the rent means no. 
The number in New Jersey is frightening. <laughs> Those were the three chords. Three shipping clerks from Bayonne uh, who want to get into show business. Remember that show? Ted Mack and Major Bulls. We'll be right back. I hope so. Yes, after this message from one of our sponsors. 